guys welcome back to my channel thank you so so much for watching I know it's been uh, pretty pretty late since I haven't done any videos because I was really really busy with Ramadan and it was like you know it's because I'm working it was the end of the year so much happening so I was pretty no and then Mm -mm. To top it over, there's some issues with my computer, so my computer decided at the last moment not to work. Then I had issues with the updating and stuff. So it has actually been really, really hectic, but then I'm finally here, I'm back. So today's look is, I would say, I want to give it um, like a glam Eid look because, uh, you know, Eid's going to be here very soon and I just want to do more and more inspired looks. You don't have to wear the headpiece, you can just take the inspiration of the eyes and the lips and you can have it with open hair it's just to give you ideas that you know you can go minimalistic with the eyes and just have like a pop of red it just brings out the features as well it just looks equally glamorous and just to let you know that this beautiful gorgeous headpiece and this gorgeous bracelet let me just show it to you uh, is given to me by glimore jewelry i hope that you like this tutorial if you want to see how to get this look please keep watching so all right you guys i'm gonna start with my eyes first and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna use um an eye primer from benefit the air petrol and i'm just gonna take a little bit and put some dots here and then you can just use your finger to blend So I've used these three highlighters to do my eyeshadow, and this this is from OPW. It's a very uh, popular brand. They've given me a huge range of lipsticks, which I'm gonna try to do a review on if I could. And um, then they've given me some eyeshadows also. So what I'm doing is basically using all these highlighters today to sort of do my eye look. And let's see which one do I have first. Okay, so I'm going to use the Gold Digger first just to intensify my socket to give it a little bit of depth. And today I'm using Fashion Face by Neha, a wonderful lady that I met on Dubai Beauty World. So Neha, if you're watching, hi! And I'm completely, completely enjoying your brushes. Thank you so much. And so what I'm going to do is apply this just on my like crease area, not on the socket, but the crease area. I can't talk today. Then I'm gonna use Stardust on my lids. I'm gonna take uh, the Fashion Face brush, and this is like a flat shader brush, so I'm gonna use this on my lids. If you wet the shade a little bit, you will see that it gives like a maximum color. So I would suggest with highlighters, you can just wet it a little bit, and then use it. It gives like a nice sheen to the eyes. Then I'm going to use Glamorous and I'm going to use a fluffy brush. Then I'm going to take Gold Digger again, which is like a bronzy color, and just going to underline my lower lid, my eyes are super sensitive today, you do know. Then using Stardust, which is like the lighter shade, I'm going to use it on my brow bone like so. Now taking any liner you have, I've got NYX liner so I'm going to use this and I'm actually doing a very very thin line, it's just like following your lash line and that's it. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to extend it a little bit in the tear duct from here and give it a slight wing from the outside. Then, of course, as much as you guys know me, I am totally a glitter person. I'm going to use Midnight Cowboy by Urban Decay just to sort of glam up my inner tear duct, just to give it a little something something. And I'm going to go down as well. Right, ladies, then I'm going to use my favorite lashes from Huda Beauty. These are Fara lashes. They're mink lashes. I'm going to apply my lashes and I'm going to be right back. Okay, so the lashes are done. What I'm going to do is now I'm going to use this NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk. The reason why I'm doing this is just to sort of open up my eye a little bit because I haven't used anything else because the eyes are super, super light. They are very highlighted, but yet again, it's not very bam on. So I'm just going to use a little bit of this. 
sort of opens up your eye. Oh, I love it. Okay, just in case you're wondering that I've got a funny face, it's because I've sort of tried baking my face today for the first time. I don't do it on my skin, I do it on my clients, but the first time I've tried doing something like this, so yeah. Excuse my face, I'm just gonna rub it off in a bit. We are taking a mascara, use any mascara. I'm using Sigma High Caliber Lash. So those are the eyes completed. Very simple, but yet like a little bit on the glam side. So if you don't wanna do something towards the smokier side, black or brown side, you can definitely use highlighters to create something very elegant but yet glamorous at the same time. So now I'm going to use my Douce, or Douce blush and I'm going to take uh, the Fashion Face blush brush. Just going to use a little bit and go on top of my cheeks like that. Not too much, just a little bit. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take off all this crazy baking that's going on on my voice. You don't need that, right? I honestly love her brushes. And I'm just giving my really honest, honest opinion. If you guys are looking for brushes, definitely check out Fashion Face by Neha. I will leave her Instagram link down below. And definitely, if you guys follow me on Instagram, I'm gonna leave a link over there as well. But I am totally in love with this. The reason I'm kind of liking this brush is that because I have sensitive skin in, in a way that you know it doesn't break out or anything but I can feel bristles on my skin very easily so it's sensitive in that way but this brush you honestly you do not feel anything so it's this amazing so highly recommend this brush okay my ladies so I'm gonna do my face highlighting I'm gonna use glamorous I will use this fluffy brush again just to put it on the apples of my cheeks. If you have open pores, I wouldn't suggest you to use the highlighter on the cheeks because then it sort of accentuates your pores more. So just use it on the highest points over here. But I'm okay with my skin, so that's why. And I kind of like this little bit of glowy business going on. So I decided to do red lips for this look. You can actually go with a very nice, neutral, nude, uh, very subtle color as well. But I just wanted to pop it a little bit, so I'm gonna go with red. I'm using Huda Beauty Lip Contour Cheerleader. I'm gonna use OPWE matte lipstick and this is wild girl it's a nice red color goes very well with the lip contour All right so the lips are done let me tell you quickly what I've used on my face Right, so for my skin, I've just used one foundation, and this is by Kat Von D Lock It Foundation, and my shade is medium 54. And I have blended it with this Iva brush. This is actually becoming really, really popular, and I completely understand why, because Honestly guys, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a tutorial using this brush and foundation and the baking technique just to show you guys how quick this was. It just makes the whole process so much easier, quick, and it gives like an airbrushed look which I am loving. So yes, I've used this for the base blending. Then for the contour, I've used this cream stick and this is by Magic Cosmetics. I kind of use this when I'm actually going out or you know when I'm out on events or something but on daily basis I don't use this. I, I, I prefer using a powder but this actually gives such a nice look so definitely people who want to take like pictures and stuff they should actually go for something like this. I love it. Then on top of it I've used my Kat Von D Shades Light Contour Kit. I've used my Bobbi Brown shade corrector in peach so in order to eradicate all the dark circles and any red patches. Then to conceal under my eyes I've used NC20 and Ivory, this is by L'Oreal True Match. 
love this combination. It gives the most brightest combination ever. And to set my powder today, I've used Sephora Bright Set, as I always do. But what I've done differently today is that for my baking, I, I used like crazy amount and once you use a lot of amount it makes it even more brighter if that makes sense so but anyways I'm, I think I'm, I'm definitely gonna do my base contour and highlight and baking routine with you guys for my brows I've used my pony main stain and this is chestnut color this is a, like a dip brow very nice I haven't used anything on top I've just left it like that so loving it so this is the final result I hope that you guys like it and I'm gonna see you next time with lots and lots of I'm thinking of doing lots of e tutorials so it's gonna be Asian Eid and I want to do Arabic Eid looks I think I need to do that so till then you take good care of yourself stay safe and stay beautiful mm -hmm.